Back the food supply chain across the country, one of the many things affected by the pandemic. Major meat companies have had to shut down across the nation due to large outbreaks among their employees. As Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh tells us, this has consumers in Rhode Island turning to more local businesses. The quick global spread of coronavirus has shown us just how connected we all really are, and the same can be said about the food supply chain. One broken link, and it can cause a major disruption, and in the case of meat, a profit for local businesses. Major companies like Smithfield Foods and Tyson have had to shut down pork processing facilities in other parts of the country due to large outbreaks of COVID-19 among their employees. Closer to home, the Department of Health confirmed close to 100 employees at Taylor Farms Food Processing Plant in Quonset tested positive, and 80 more cases were tied to Danielli Inc., the Italian meat maker in Boroughville. Some processing companies warning their facilities closures in the Midwest will cause a shortage of meat supply across the country. Country. That's causing consumers in Rhode Island to turn to locally sourced meat. You're talking, you know, about you know 50 to 100 animals in some cases, uh, so it costs a lot more. But it's a great resource for people, so they're buying it. They're buying it like crazy. David Dadakian of Eat Drink Rhode Island said his client Blackbird Farm in Smithfield relies heavily on selling beef to restaurants. That slowed way down, but he said they're actually seeing bigger profits than ever with consumers buying directly from them. Even with the restaurant loss, it's still an increase in business. Eyewitness News asked the Rhode Island Department of Health if consumers should be concerned about the virus spreading to the processed food itself. From what we know right now, uh, COVID-19 cannot be transmitted through food. Um, CDC, FDA is continuing to assess that. Uh, they've gone so far as to not recall any foods um, where there have been uh, cases of COVID-19 in the food processing uh, facilities. And we should note that the stock of pigs and cows across the country is still healthy. It's the processing plants and the slaughterhouses themselves that are impacted due to the spread of coronavirus among employees inside. In the control room, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.